Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we're here to do your weekly love reading for the 12th through the 18th. I just want to let you guys know that this is your energy, okay? So if it doesn't come out like you want it to come out, then don't point the finger at me. What do you have for Leo? Please give them the messages that they need to hear. What does Leo need to know? And that's why I shuffle on camera. Because it's really important for you to see things jump out like that. That was a mess that that card is a message for you, Leo. You saw it come flying out. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. It was meant for you, right? I didn't pick it. The universe did. You know, Perseverance kind of resembles the Strength card, right? I mean, it does, right? It takes strength to do whatever you set your mind to. And that's your card. I feel as though many of you are lacking strength at this time. And I'm sorry, but I feel as though a lot of you have been weeping. Okay, you've been weeping. You've been, there's been like, your fire's been put out. Like it's, you know, snowed on your fire pit and it can't be relit. You can relight that fire whenever you're ready. But if you don't take action, nothing is going to change. This is lack of taking action. <laughs> you must stand up. You must put yourself in the driver's seat. You must take the lead. You must find your mental strength. and focus on what's ahead. It's time to get prepared for new growth. It's time to get prepared for a new chapter. It's time to get moving. I think that you've reached a fork in the road, okay? And you have to make a decision. Which way are you gonna go? Do you want to stay stuck wherever you're at where the fire is out, or do you want to relight it and go down another path? What is it? That's the fork in the road right there. What is it going to be? Do you want to stay back here? Or do you want to take one and move forward? What are you going to do? The world is in your hands. The world is literally in your hands. Are you going to take the next step or not? That's the Seven of Swords. Be careful. Be careful. When this card comes out, it means that somebody's going to get caught doing something. Somebody's going to get caught. Is it you or somebody else? Movement is needed. Maybe this is you need to move state. You need to move home. You move, need to move over a body of water. But this is... <laughs> change and movement forward is needed and you have been stalling that's what's happened you know I feel like you have a lot of doubt in your head okay you have a lot of doubt you're growing weary 
you're letting fear take over and you've forgotten how far you have come. Look how far you've come, Leo. I feel like you're on the edge and you're just really scared to step outside of your comfort zone. It's so much more comfortable to stay right here. You have an opportunity in love. Have you been caught by love? Is there a new partnership that you're scared to let in? Ooh. <clears throat> Powerful energies here. You're being offered a new opportunity for growth, expansion, partnership, and truth. You have to accept the truth of a situation. But I think you have this wounded warrior mentality. And you need to make a conscious change. That's what this means. You need to let go of that wounded warrior mentality so that you can have growth and expansion and love. It feels as though you've been deceiving yourself. You have been. You've been deceiving yourself in regards to any new partnership because of that wounded warrior mentality that you've been. That is the basis of your reading. You need to let go of that mentality. You do. You need to let your guard down. Let yourself grow. All the experiences that you've had in your life has brought you growth. You need to drop these burdens that you've been carrying around with you. It's time to make a conscious change. So that you can have a beautiful union. There's an opportunity for a partnership here. A new partnership. Or a partnership. If you're in a partnership with somebody now. There's an opportunity for a strong connection here with another person. But it feels like you're robbing yourself. Because of your wounded. I'm wounded. I'm too wounded. I have too much baggage. You need to be the master of your emotions at this time and let go of those burdens that are going on inside of you. You don't need them. That's in the past, right? It's in the past. I'm going to zoom this in. I feel as though you have opportunity in love, Leo. You do. You have an opportunity in love for a partnership. But if you stay stuck, focused on the past, you really need to take the next step and just focus on the future. Let go of the past wounds, the past battles. Let them go. We're gonna get some clarifiers here. You're being offered some wonderful opportunities, okay? You're an opportunity for growth, fertility, this is also lighting a fire. This is literally lighting a fire. It's time to relight your fire, Leo. It is. It's time for you to wake up. I don't know what this two of cups and two of uh, wands is. I think you're in, you're very guarded. You're guarded in regards to love. You have your guard up and it's affecting your relationship. This person, this is where you might get caught. This person doesn't want you to be guarded. They're sick of it. They don't want you to be guarded. They're, they might move on because you're so guarded. You need to let your guard down. Somebody's moving on. Well, maybe it's you. I don't know. Somebody is. We're going to find out here. Oh, see, the thing is, is that, yeah, there's like, this is a Ten of Swords. 
Okay, so there's somebody is probably thinking about freeing themselves from something because this is freedom reversed, okay? There is some sort of liberation here. Somebody may be thinking about freeing themselves from something because there's, there's lack of energy here. There's lack of work. Somebody's not putting work into it. It's that wounded warrior. I'm too wounded. I have too much baggage. Woe is me. Woe is me. Yeah, there's unhappiness. Somebody, you could lose on love, Leo. You could lose on love because of your negativity. I mean, the sun reversed. That's negativity. Lack of energy. You need to... This is the same card, different deck, but this one's upright. You're carrying around the burdens. This is saying release the burdens. Make a conscious change. This is this is upright. It's saying you're you got them. You're holding them on. You're holding these burdens that you don't. You're holding. You don't need to. Why would she be holding fire? There's no need to. And she's holding. Okay, look at. She's holding like letters. She's holding words. She's holding it. She's burning them, but she's still holding them. You know what I mean? Just drop it. Why burn yourself? Jesus. Anyway, it feels as though, you know, you're you're carrying around too much. The Four of Swords. Okay. It's like you guys are, you may be feeling very empty inside. It's time to become alive again. Seven of Swords reversed again. You're robbing yourself of love. Be careful. You could lose in this situation. Because you're of the another ten reverse. This is not good. Okay, this is ten of pentacles reversed. Somebody could be giving up on you. Somebody could be moving out. Somebody could be getting the hell out of here because of your negativity. Because you lack energy. You could be losing a love relationship because of your inability to put in effort, your lack of energy, your lack of passion. Somebody could be turning away from you. That's what this guy means, reversed. There's no more growth here. This isn't stable. The Ace of Pentacles reversed. There's no abundance here anymore. Some, but something's not growing. And it's a loss. This is a complete loss because you're concentrating on the past losses instead of concentrating on the future. And this can go all the way back to your childhood. You're concentrating on all the life lessons you've learned the hard way. And the aches, and the pains, and the woes, and the negativity. And that's who you need to become. You need to find your confidence. You need to find your courage. You need to find your willpower. And you need to find your strength. It's time to be where you need to be and get back in the groove. Okay? It's time to relight the fire and be... This queen of fire or queen of wands, this is who you need to be. You need to be vibrating on a higher level. You need to be thinking positive. You need to get creative. You need to be able to show the world how confident you are. And if you're laying in bed and you can't get up, that's not confidence. I feel as though you probably feel like you're being criticized. I'm, cri you're, I'm criticizing you right now, right? You should be looking at this as inspiration, not criticism. You think I'm criticizing you right now and everybody else too. 
You look at it, you need to look at things in a different light. This isn't criticism. Criticism. This is inspiration. You're not being objective to how things are presented to you. You're only looking at the negative aspects of it. And if you only look at the negative aspects of what people present to you, don't expect them to stick around. You've been you've been resisting change. You've been resisting it because you don't you don't want to struggle through it. You're being re you're resisting letting go of your old ways. It feels as though you're stalling and you're you're sacrificing love. You're sacrificing happiness by being by refusing to see a new approach. That's what this card means reversed. You're refusing to see a new approach. All three of these cards. All three of them. Clear as mud. You are refusing to see a new approach. I know. This card in reverse is... Are you trying to prove yourself or do you want to be happy? That's what this card means. There's power struggles here. Do you want to be happy or do you have to prove something? If you want to be happy, you have to let go of... You need to look at things from a new perspective. Seriously. That's what... I mean... That's, those three cards are that, every single one of them, that's what it says. But you refuse. You f refuse. Because you're trying to prove that you're right. I'm right. And that's funny that I said, I know. I know. I know I'm right. And if you know you're right, and you can't compromise, and you can't see things from other people's reality, expect to get a rebot, a goodbye. You have to bring balance back to your life. It's time to make some compromises. This is the temperance card. It's about compromises. Cooperation. Balance. And patience. That's what this card means. Compromise. To find happiness. You're going to have to compromise your ideals, or whatever they are, your thoughts, your perspective, if you're looking for happiness. And you're going to have to let go, because this is the Four of Pentacles reversed. You're going to have to let go. Let go of some of your old ways, your old, whatever you've been holding on to. you got to let go. You do. You do. But there's a lot of insecurities holding you back. You always feel like you're left out in the cold, right? You're left out. I'm left out. You're leaving yourself out. Those are your own insecurities. Not, nobody's leaving you out. And you could end up losing in love. This is the Two of Cups reversed. Because of your insecurities. Your own insecurities. You have to relight your fire. You have to take the lead. You have to take the lead. Do not expect anybody to come in here and fix you. Leo, you have to take the lead. I feel as though you need to get creative. You need to be the boss of this situation. And you need to stand up and stop feeling sorry for yourself.
and stop being dishonest with yourself. This is dishonesty. Somebody's not doing the right thing. Being dishonest with themselves. When you're being called to, to stand up for yourself, you're being called to be honest about this situation. Something, you, you've been feeling really depressed. This is the Nine of Swords. I've been really, really depressed. And who wants to be around that? Who wants to be around that? I feel like you're losing in love. You're losing in love because you're not putting in effort. And I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. You still have a chance, though. This is a lover's card. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. This is It's time to make a decision. Do you want a new start? Do you? Do you want to start over? Then I suggest you stand up and do something about it. And do it quickly. Quickly. This is the Knight of Swords. Very fast moving. If you want this relationship to work out, whoever it is you're thinking about, you better get moving. Leave the sob story in the graveyard. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. If you want this love connection, Relight your fire. Talk to you later.